What's up people, we are back with more Always Sometimes Monsters. It's a hacking time. I'm really doing this, aren't I? Yep, we are. Well, we kind of have to. I already forgot his instructions for me. Is this the vents, really? Oh god. Oh god. Oops. Holy crap, he fell through the roof! Hello, sir. No need to do anything drastic now. Kill him! Oh god. Well, that kind of went miserable. I'm getting too old for this shit. Can we restart it? Please, I want to restart. Oh my god. Whoa, it got late fast. I want to... Come on, we have to try and restart this. I saved right before this. I really want to see what happens. I mean, I, I really messed up there, of course. Continue. Second one. Alright, load. God damn it. I mean, I went in there not knowing what to expect, really, despite his explanation of not of being careful of those cracks in the vents, so that means we shouldn't go that way. What? Which way do we go then? That makes no sense. He said something about wireless poofs though. What do those things do? I doubt we put them on the... I mean, I guess we could try, but it doesn't really do much. Either way, we fall down, so what the hell is the point? Thank god, that guard broke my fall. <gasps> Holy crap. That door up there says mainframe access. What a lucky break. I landed on the poor guard pretty hard. Alright, search him. I need to keep going, nothing can stop me. This will come in handy. The guard's key card. Oh yeah. So it was just random luck which, which way you take. In the other one, you fall right in the middle of the room, and on this one, you basically split the guard in half by landing on him like a... Uh, I don't know, something falling out of the sky that's really heavy. Alright, so who the hell is that? Ugh, my back's killing me. I'm really glad that guard was able to break my fall. Shit, someone's here? Maybe I can hide out behind these com computers until they leave. I can't bail right uh, now. I can't bail now, though. I'll figure it out. Um, I should go look for the computer before I take off. What about this? Oh yeah, troubadour. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Ho ho. Move, 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 move. Get back, get back, get back, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Shit, they're coming right here. Hide. Access denied. Gah, my hands are all sweaty and I can't get up. Uh oh. Heather? I thought you were a guard or something. I nearly. I don't know. What the hell are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Let me guess. Someone hired you to rig the election. Uh, what would make you think that? It's alright. I'm not going to busk you. I've got to ask you though, you really think this is going to make a difference? What do you mean? I mean, do you really think any of these guys are going to be looking out for your best interest? I'm working with a detective. We're here investigating your so-called candidates. I never took you for much of a conspiracy theorist. Don't tell me you're taking that stuff seriously. You still think you have a choice, don't you? That somehow by doing this you can change something. You've got to understand, it won't accomplish anything. What are you saying? I'm saying that left or right, it doesn't matter. Not when you're choosing which hand slaps you in the face. Well, if he's right-handed, then it's better to be slapped in the, hand, in the face by a left-handed person because it's not as hard. Their left hand is pretty weak then, right? As noble as you think you are, it doesn't mean anything. Maybe I can't prove it right now, but how can you believe anything else? Regardless of who's elected, 
nothing ever truly changes. No master exists to serve their slaves. They report to another power altogether. Then what's the alter alternative? If you're so enlightened, you tell me. Look out for yourself. The only person you can truly count on. Do whatever it takes to ensure your own happiness and security. Damn the rest. Of course, responsibility is only what you make of it. So you're really not here to stop me then? No. It doesn't matter anyway. The terminal's right over there. Do whatever you have to do. Alright then, I'll see you around I guess. Peace out Heather. As she disappears. Goddamn smoke bomb? What is she, Team Rocket? Ugh, my lungs. Where's that stupid terminal? Alright, um... Didn't we have to put the wireless spot? Initiate hack. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Gonna have to do this again. Alright, that's one. It's just all about the timing. Figuring out the the path that they go oh, second one ooh that was really close right that's the third one Last one should be a cakewalk. Oh, there we go. Got him. Hell yeah, hack success. Now everything's gonna go explosion. Shit, I did it. All right. Now let's load up the vote allocation system. There we go. Now I just need to tell the system which candidate to filter all votes to. And we've got ourselves a new mayor. Um, Macro Shaft. 50, 45 years old. 10, uh, 5 foot 10 inches. 322 LBS. That's pretty overweight I think. Campaign Contributors, Macroshaft Corporation, Beaten Workers Union, Bacon Barn Foods. If Bacon Barn supports him, I should too. The Police Department, City of Well, might as well. I mean, uh, sure, let's do go for this guy. I mean, I don't care about this place anyway, right? All right, there we have it. The new mayor of Beaton is Mr. Bob Horde. All right, time to get the hell out of here then. Back into the vent. Oh god, oh god. Uh oh. Holy crap, he fell through the roof! I bet he's the mainframe hacker. I'm not. No need to do anything drastic now, don't you worry. I'll just climb out the window, okay? Peace out. Um, yeah, it was definitely not the easy way out. Alright, it's night time. Is the clubhouse still open? Because I think we were supposed to meet there. Wait, it was pretty close to Larry's house. But Larry's house is like... Right... No, yeah, this is Larry's house. Oh no, it's down here. I, I now remember. This is the clubhouse. Right, red. Surprised the guards don't notice me. Where is he? Is it because it's night time? I think so. We have to get, uh, fall asleep first, and obviously we can't fall. Uh, can't sleep on the couch. 
So we're just gonna have to go back to Larry's place. Sleep there. Good old trusty Larry. He's not even home, is he? Nope. Just a lonely cat. Yeah, almost the last time I ate. Um, alright. Let's get him some food. Bacon bomb. Okay. Bacon buster. There we go. Should be enough to at least fall asleep. Of course we're gonna write down in our journal, as we always do. Day 13 is ahead of us. Alright, time to meet Red. At the Union and Clubhouse. Window still broken. Apparently we can still just walk over the street without people actually knowing it was me. Wait, where did he go? Were we supposed to meet here? Apparently not. Uh, then probably City Hall, right? This is not City Hall. Damn it, then we were, yeah, we were supposed to meet, meet at City Hall. But that's City Hall, right? Or not? I don't know. Where the hell do we meet him? Starving? Uh, sure, let's look for food in the trash. We'll never find anything anyway. Right? Nothing. Spent five minutes looking for nothing. Um, is it that bad to just return to the scene of the crime? Of course not. This is why going forward we will no longer be accepting opaque trash bags for garbage pickups. To ease the transaction, the city will be providing three free bags to each resident at no cost. Additional bags may be purchased for a nominal fee from any city approved retailer including the forthcoming Macro Shaft Supercenter. Hopefully this new program will help prevent any further tragedies. Oh, and it looks like the last of our uh, announcements. Now it's time for what we're all here for, the results of our mayoral election. It seems that we're missing a few of our candidates still, but let, let's not let that slow us down. The ballots have been carefully counted by our electric, electronic voting system, and it's time to see who's won. Stacy, the envelope, please. Stacy? She looks a lot like the other woman. Thank you. It's been a long political season, but here we are at the moment of truth. As selected by the people, the mayor of Beaton is... Bob Horn! What a surprise. Congratulations. Would you care to say anything? I've got something to say. That's not really protocol, Mr. Liberté. You gonna stop me? That's what I thought. Uh-oh, he mad. What's wrong with you people? After everything he's done to this city, you still vote in this lunatic? Things could have been different this time. We had a chance to make things different, but you threw it all away out of fear. If you can't appreciate all the good things, uh, all the good I've been trying to do for you, I'm happy to take my expertise elsewhere. Effective immediately, you're looking at the new strategic management director for Macroshaft Corporation's beaten offices. What? But Macroshaft work, works with the Bob Horde guy. Okay. Reporters, I'll be here for the next few hours to answer your questions. Trudeau, no one cares, just get outside. You lost, man, you lost. Right, well then, let's extend a uh, big congratulations to Bob Horde, our returning mayor. Or oh, he's like, oh god, what's the, the crack smoking mayor? 
What's his guy? He, he also kind of looks like him, actually. Rob Ford, that's his name. Despite what that crazed anarchist may have told you, I assure you we are entering a new and prosperous age. This election beaten was asked what it wanted going forward, and you resoundingly answered stability. As you can see, my opponent has already sought to bring corporate influences into the mayor's office. It's with great joy and continue as mayor so that the future of Beaton may forever be bright and unhindered by big business. Thank you for those who turned out to vote. Your support has been truly appreciated. Reporters, if you have questions, I'll be available for the next few hours for you. Okay, so the room's kind of splitting up. The Bob Ford people all the way to the left. Trudeau to the right. Well, that about wraps up today's event. Thank you for coming out, everyone. I'm um, okay. Well, that was fun. Hey, Red is over here. Well, if it isn't Beaton's best box pusher. Pusher? I didn't push them. I carried them. Good job, my friend. I don't know how you pull it off, but here we are with the sweeping victory. Best part is, nobody's caught wise to our plan. Right. <laughs> well, let's not talk about it, about it while we're still at the scene of the crime. Right, of course. Hey, do you give any more thought to the offer I made you back at the warehouse? Or are you still setting, uh, set on getting to San Ferdano? Oh, I haven't uh, given it much thought since we talked. Basically because I'm leaving soon. I don't care about this, this place really. Especially after I kind of sold out by helping the, the mayor win again. I'll be leaving soon now that the strike's over. San Ferdano's still waiting for me and I've only got 17 days left to get there. Right, well, I guess everyone's got tough choices to make. I hate to say it, but I'm gonna miss you a bit. Don't tell me you're getting sentimental, Red. Ha, not likely. Just rare to see someone willing to, to go the distance for their job these days. I like that. I wanna give you this as a token of my appreciation for all you've done. Work gloves. Oh my god, I'm so thankful! How could I ever go on a day in my life without these now? How did I survive all these years without work gloves? I noticed you didn't have a pair of your own. Never know when they'll come, come in handy. I really appreciate this. It's the... the... I guess the, the thought that counts, right? The fact that he gives me something as a um, sign of appreciation, I guess. Hey, don't get sappy on me now. Just take care of yourself out there, alright? Yeah, you too. Okay, well, um... Can't talk, need to focus on the shot. Right, well, Stacy. So, how about them election results, eh, girl? Best pickup line ever. Honestly, I couldn't care less who's got the job. They're all pricks at the end of the day. Stacy, I need these files organized. Stacy, go put another pot of coffee on. Stacy, take these documents to the shredder and don't tell anyone about it. Stacy this, Stacy that, Stacy blah 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 blah. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss, right? At least the pay's worth it though. Only I, um. Uh... You know, in all the years I've been working here at City Hall, I've never seen an election quite like this one. What do you mean? Well, most of the time, losing candidates don't have. Uh, other work lined up already. Now, not there uh, that there's anything wrong with a little foresight, mind you. That's true. The fact that he buzz off, you ruined the shot. Do you have any response to the allegations that you recently were seen outside a nightclub smoking reefers? Oh, those allegations are outrageous and absolutely baseless. I've never been addicted to marijuana in my life. Why have you chosen to step into the private sector after only your first election? It wasn't an easy decision, but it seems like the right move considering the results. My only hope is that I can do as much good for the city outside of office as I could have in it. Right, political mumbo jumbo. Sorry, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Oh, it's the guys that, that took a dump on uh, Red's car. I ain't got any business with you. This this town's a cesspool like no other. Right, what are the questions for Bob Ford? You mentioned that your first act as mayor will be disbanding the striking parties across the city. How do you plan on imposing such a rule should they not want to comply? This campaign and the road to the, to today's today's win has taught me one thing. When 
you set your mind to a goal and accept nothing but victory, nothing can get in your way. If they're not willing to listen to reason, then we'll get sanctions for police involvement, or we'll just hack them. Do you have any comments for the critics that say you won the male vote based solely on your appearance at sporting events? I can say with absolute certainty that my victory today had nothing to do with my ties to the beaten beats. Alright, um, interesting. I suppose we get out of here then. I mean, we already said goodbye to Red, right? You ever need anything? The union always have your back. Excuse me, citizen. Please hold on for a second. I need to talk to you for uh, talk with you for a moment. Please don't leave. Shit, could he be on to me? Shit, what do I do? Um, I'll, uh, I'll stay. Running away is very suspicious, right? Thank you for waiting. I have a few words to say. The m new mayor told me that you had assisted him in his recent campaign. He said that you were absolutely instrumental in his success. I definitely was. At first, I couldn't figure out exactly what he meant. But it's all become so clear to me now. Uh oh. I mean, how else could you explain such a landslide victory against the odds? Am I in trouble? Trouble? What for? I just wanted to applaud you on the magnificent poster designs. Surely that's what he meant, right? He also wanted me to give you this as a token of his appreciation. A beaten city expense card. These are issued mostly to city hall employees, but a few to exceptional citizens like yourself. You can use it at any normal ATM access for uh, to access your credit, but it does have a limit, unfortunately. We can't just spend all the city's tax dollars willy-nilly now, can we? Whoa, thanks. Alright, put it to good use and once again, thank you for your efforts. We genuinely appreciate the work you've done. Take care. Wait. Does that mean what I think it means? I wonder how much cash this thing's got in it anyway. Now that the strike's over, I should probably go and check the bus schedule. I should probably get on the first bus to Salt City I can. Exactly. Um, I need to find an ATM machine though. First we'll follow the red line. I'm pretty sure there's an ATM machine at the bus station. There's gotta be. So we get like an unlimited credit card from the, the city, which the... Oh, this one at Baka Sushi. The beaten city. I don't, I don't know what the pin is for this thing. I have 258. Oh, I, I, never mind. I, I think I know what it's used for. You can just basically swipe it as like a credit card rather than uh, taking money off it from like an account. That makes more sense, right? Why else would it be like an account with limited amount of money on it. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. So basically we can just use this to pay I guess? Right, well we're gonna do that in the next video so thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!